Perfection! The ultimate achievement. Anybody can do it once. I bet if you really tried and focused on something, you could probably achieve perfection. Albeit accidentally. But the ability to do it repeatedly. Ah! Perfection Damn. on demand! Where you can replicate your past successes and try them time and time again. Oh! Can anybody truly do that? Yes! For 30 years, Cannonball Corpse has been making music, and not a single one of their albums has been a flop. Kill, Bloodthirst, and my personal favorite, A Skeletal Domain, goes to show how insanely talented a band could be that actually gets better and better as time goes on. You ask anybody about their discography, they'll tell you their worst album is a 7 out of 10. Their worst is better than some artist's peak. Well, that sounds fantastic. Never being able to miss, always delivering a success after another, how could that possibly be a problem? And for Cannonball Corpse, it isn't. But for Nutella, it's a very different story. You see, Nutella is the greatest chocolate brand in the world. They're at the top of the mountain with everybody trying to copy them and take their success and make it into their own. Nobody comes close to their level. You're kind of weak. <laughs> they don't have anybody to sharpen their steel up against, and they have no Mugen to their gin. How can they get better if there's no one out there that can really challenge them? So when you don't have anyone to go up against, who do you go up against? Yourself. And that's how you end up with stuff like this. A crispy segmented tube filled with hazelnut cream made by Ferrero. Now, why does this sound so familiar? Oh! Oh, no, the Nutella's ripped themselves off! New? When? Where? According to who? Ferrero doesn't release new products very often, and when they do, I'm expecting big things. I'm not expecting them to regurgitate and rest on their laurels, but it appears uh, that's what they did. Just from the outset, I can already tell you the Bueno is gonna kill it in pretty much every category. Look at the average Nutella Bready. The French and Italians are weeping right now because what they've done to the art of yeast. What the fuck is this piece of shit? Then for contrast, you look at the Bueno. Marvelous! And look at the drizzle, look at the darkness, look at the rich indulgence that it's presented. The Bueno is clearly like 50 times better because you eat with your eyes first and everything else comes afterwards. Psychologically speaking, you get four squares as opposed to only three with the Bready. And as an American, I gotta have more. I need to be fed. I can't be given less. I get very upset. The Bueno is the most popular candy bar in the world, all thanks to me. And I appreciate that and I like my royalty checks. But Nutella, you should have talked to me first. We had a contract we had an agreement you don't do things like this without consulting me first but what has the better crunch Okay, you got the better crunch. I'll give you that. I'm in a bit of a pickle here because this isn't innovative. It's iterative and it's iterative of something that already exists and is done much better. The smaller size of the Bueno allows you to bite into it more and enjoy more of those flavors. It's less annoying to sort of bite down on something that's smaller than something that's bigger. This thing, while subtly bigger, does not have that same sort of consistency to it. So when you're biting it, it feels a lot more laborious and the flavor itself is just better done with the Bueno. There's a reason that they didn't use Nutella to actually fill this up and that's because they knew it would be too much. Yes, it does have some Nutella in there, but it's blended up with a whole bunch of other stuff that offsets that sweetness and gives it a much more rich and complex taste. Don't be ready, be better. <laughs> There's gonna come a point when you forget about what happened and you're gonna wanna come back at me and you're gonna wanna wash the taste of my dick out of your mouth. <laughs> 